Spanish music 700 years old, performed by 20th century musicians, the new London consort. The story behind this performance and the creation of this unique sound began many months ago in Santiago de Compostela, northern Spain. Santiago is a place of Christian pilgrimage. For centuries, pilgrims have flocked to Santiago Cathedral, according to tradition, the burial place of the Apostle St. James. Ancient Spanish manuscripts record the journey in the verse and music composed by the pilgrims. Here are found the medieval words and melodies and this is where one of the world's leading experts on early music began his research. The aim of Philip Pickett and his new London consort to recreate those ancient sounds on original instruments. His task started by scoring the notes into modern form. Well, first of all, the notation very rarely shows any kind of rhythm. I mean, we're playing music from the very early days of the development of notation. I do feel some connection with the past, and we do try to recreate as far as we can what we know of the performance practice of the time. However, there has to be a leap into the dark, because we can never know that that is how it sounded. Here we have a Cantiga number 49, Ben Comals, that actually tells a story about the pilgrims. They were very frightened. They ran around in circles, looking for their way to the inn. And they were very worried that they would be attacked by robbers. So the Virgin Mary appeared to them as a ray of light. His research into medieval music continued in Santiago's main square, where traditional music is still played on original instruments. All over, and people are still playing bagpipes which haven't changed since the Middle Ages, and many of the tunes they play have their roots in medieval folk song. I think I was born to perform medieval music. The very first time I heard it, when I was 17, I was utterly captivated by it, straight away. There was no growing to love it over a period of time. I heard it, and that was it. I had to look at it more closely and even perform it. Pickett's final visit was to the 12th century portico of Santiago Cathedral, a masterpiece of medieval craftsmanship. And above St. James, angels hold the only visual record of how the original instruments were constructed. This is probably what they were actually like. They're very, very detailed. And one can actually build instruments which work simply by copying the stone carving. Pickett returned to London with a blueprint for these ancient instruments. The result, a unique venture, a recording of the music of the Santiago Pilgrim performed some 700 years after its composition. It's much 
more Arabic. There's much more improvisation. There's much more opportunity for virtuosity. And I think that people will listen to this recording and think, my God, I cannot believe that Western musicians can play like this. Oh, my God. 